Hey, hey, it's another vlog. I'm so excited for today because my husband and I are going out to celebrate our first wedding anniversary. So now I'm preparing. I actually have a hard time taking a video while doing the get ready with me something like, you know, like other, like what other YouTubers do. But anyway, I don't um, wear any makeup. So yeah, this is just our look for today's day. As I've mentioned, we will be celebrating our first wedding anniversary, but the celebration is nothing fancy, just a simple celebration. We'll just be eating out and probably go somewhere to have a walk or I don't know. I don't know um, what will be the activity for today, but definitely we will be eating out. I'm also excited for today because I can eat anything and what's better about it is there are no dishes for today <laughs> but yeah seriously we just had our Daniel's fasting where we limit our food intake so we only ate vegetables fruits and grains that's it so I miss eating junk <laughs> But yeah, I, I'm so excited to eat more, to eat whatever I want. And yeah, it's just so crazy. I was, I was, my, my husband and I were talking about like how time flies and yeah, like any other marriages as what, it's, as what they've said, the first few years of marriage is that's the most challenging part because you get to adjust, you get to learn a lot of things, you get to realize a lot of things. The first year of marriage is challenging for me because I've been used to being single. And you know, when you're single, you get to decide on your own, be so independent, and when you decide, you don't need to consider somebody but now that i'm married whatever my decisions are i have to consider before i make any decision i have to consider my husband i have to consider our family yeah it's an adjustment for me plus i have to move to a different country so i am in the u.s now but i am from the philippines and before i moved to the u.s I worked in Dubai so I had a life in the Philippines and in Dubai and then I have to move in the USA it's a big adjustment for me because it's a new environment new culture and but still I'm grateful and I'm blessed but still learning a lot of things still adapting to this to the changes with the help of God I am still building my life I need to enjoy and Again, I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed. So I'll be bringing you to our activity for today, to our day. And yeah, let's have fun. This is my outfit for today. It's just simple. Let's go. We are at the Olive Garden restaurant and we are just waiting for our order. I'm so excited. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> so these are our drinks. We have the blueberry lemonade and the other one is a strawberry lemonade. This drink is more sour than this one, but they are both good. So this is now their premium food, something like that. Mm. Actually, this one is refillable, right? Mm -hmm. Let's taste this. Mm, the bread is so good. Especially after fasting. <laughs> it's just like um, buttered toasted bread. Tastes good. This is our food. We got the chicken alfredo and their classic lasagna. Chara! Let's try the chicken. Mm. It's perfect. <laughs> All the food for me is good. Like, I'm not really that 
Picky. Picky. When it comes to food, honestly. Hmm? Yeah, it's good food here. Let's try the it's pasta. Better. Better than where have we done? Hmm? Well, have we done like dinner? Hmm. I don't know. It's been a while since we eat this kind of food. We've been eating fruits and vegetables for the last 21 days. But of course, there's no complaint because it also... Um, how many pounds did you lose? 10 pounds. For me, it's 5, I think. Half of, half of what he lost. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, and we do it because of this. <laughs> now let's try the lasagna. Chocolate, free mint chocolate. Mm. Mm. I didn't know that you bring the trash bag. We brought our trash bag with us. A trash Reason. bag is celebrating with us, love. <laughs> we have our trash bag there. We forgot to throw yeah. it in the garbage. Um, was that like a gar garbage disposal area or something? <laughs> But yeah, we're in the car now. How is it, love? Good. Yeah, we're so full. And now we've decided to go somewhere. We will be going downtown. Oh, it's downtown, right? This is the place where we got married. walking here at the park at waterfront that's the place where we got married it's kind of dark already because after the olive garden we went home to do some stuff how's your first year of marriage love i can't call it how about you joe <laughs> what <laughs> it's good <laughs> why are you hesitating he's hesitating it's good See? It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about you? Um, it's good. It's nice. <laughs> well, I just cupping. Well, I've already told them, like, it's an adjustment, especially 
um, for me that I came from a different country, you know, the culture difference and all that. And but yeah, I'm. I'm but nevertheless, I'm still grateful and oh. blessed because yeah, you know, it's a just it's an adjustment for the both of us. Yeah. It's always an adjustment for two people, right? When yeah. you were when you get married. Yeah. It's a never-ending adjustment. It's a never-ending challenge. But for me, I'm still thankful that I'm in this um, situation. Yeah, situation in my life now because I've prayed for this and God answered my prayer. And yeah, it's an adjustment. Yeah, it's it's always an adjustment. But as long as you have God at the center of the relationship then it's not it's not a guarantee of a problem free life but um it's gonna be a good and stable marriage is yeah. it is it the right term yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean you're you're you will be fine you know yeah like you God is the center of your marriage and yeah it, it should last and yeah just um, both loving each other and communication and yeah. trying to understand each other and forgiving each other. I mean, it's yeah, it's a challenge. It's, it, it takes time, and even one year is not a really enough to like like really learn. Each yeah, other. of course. As I've said, it's a never-ending adjustment because well, I mean, it's a lifetime commitment. Well, it's true because also because mm. people change little right like every year someone changes we do a change little, yeah a little like different interests different lives but people change through experience too you know yeah but really if you're connected with each other then both of you should be changing and growing together the best thing about marriage is that you have somebody to do things together somebody who'll support you somebody who'll understand you somebody who'll love you but of course, love, as I've mentioned, is not just between two people, man and woman. It's also like love from family, from friends, and above all, love from God. That's the most important, right? Mm -hmm. But also, it's it's um, it's nice to have somebody to spend your life with, to share that love. Yeah, I think that's the best thing about marriage. Overall, is it better to be married or not to be married? better to be married i mean for me i was already satisfied being single like i was single for 33 years so i've already i have already enjoyed my single life and of course i've always wanted to have a family to have a husband you know it's really my dream to be a homemaker slash entrepreneur slash digital creator <laughs> What? How many slashes? <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's really um that's that's one of my goals. No, sorry about that. <laughs> that's one of um my dreams in life. So overall, for me, it's better to be married, but. God has a different purpose for each person, right? Yeah. It's not like married couples are better than single than single people. No, it's not. It's just like we have a different um, God planned our life, planned our lives differently. Mm -hmm. So whatever stage you're in our lives, as long as we're doing God's will, then it's um, a meaningful and. A fruitful life so what's our plan what's our next agenda mm, what do you mean no what's our what will be your next where are we going to next where are we going to next yeah are we on camera still yeah uh it's 9 26 love i don't know we eat oh so we go home maybe we will go home now Maybe, I don't know if there's one more place that we could quickly go to, but yeah, we're getting hungry. Not yet, because we just ate ice cream. Uh, our our anniversary celebration is just simple and simple but meaningful. 
Yeah, we're just celebrating. Nothing fancy, as I've said. Nothing fancy. It's just simple. We're just like having simple day. We ate out and then we grabbed. We just went to the place where we got married. We stayed there for a few minutes and then we grabbed some ice cream from McDonald's and then we ate in the car and then just talk. That's just our bonding moments and. Yeah, and he's eating his strawberry. <laughs> I will end the vlog today. And thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed our short video for today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye, love. Bye. <laughs>